know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Yeah. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. What's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am fucking excited. Now, I know nice. I've wow. said that 400 times before, but this time I mean it. Um, Finally. Well, first and foremost, Harry, you ready to rock and roll? You ready to go? I am ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to lay boots to the bitches. Catchphrase number one. Uh, <laughs> catchphrase number we two. Still... I am not white. Let's just get that out there. Let's just I am... the front. <laughs> it's been a problem for the last several I, months. Andre likes that one. I am not Trey, white. what up? You ready to go? <laughs> That's funny as shit. This white man angry? I'm not white. <laughs> I'm not white. To go. This is not ironic. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want to let people know that even though I sound like this and I look like this, I am in fact not white. You got it. When you do your catchphrase, you got to do this. <laughs> And I'm not white. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> and I am not white. <laughs> I can't do the uh... Suck, sucky ducky quack quack. He's looking First whiter and whiter by the minute, sir. <laughs> what about if I change it to I ain't white? Is that better? Oh, that, oh yeah, that's really bad. Listen, let me introduce our guest. Um, funny as shit, Comedy Central. Um, Serious uh, XM. Serious XM. Uh, Fallon, you did a Fallon? Colbert, Colbert I think. Colbert, Colbert, you did a, yeah. did a Colbert. Um, you know, my girl, Emma, Emma, yo, give it up, give it up, give it up. On? What's up? What up, Emma? Thank you, guys. Good to see you. I didn't know you, I didn't know you weren't white. I am, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to learn. Yeah, I'm half Ecuadorian, <laughs> half Armenian. Uh, no, 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 no. And, and Armenians are not white. Let's not start that. See, we weren't treated as white. <laughs> In the 80s or 90s, I don't want to hear it today because of the Kardashians. <laughs> Armenians. You might get recruited after the after the, yeah. the capital. You might get cr- cr- recruited. They need more numbers. They need you more know they- fake <laughs> fake people of color. They always have one and, or two. By the way, your name still gets brought up as the lead. You know, like how could they? No, be you know, this is how I do. I, that's how I do with the Proud Boys. I just speak it in the, into existence. I don't know if you know that, M. You know that. What? You know what we're talking about? I know about the Proud Boys because I spent about four, I mean, I know about anyway, but I spent about four months in Louisiana and then a couple people I was very close to actually got kind of involved with, it was a real eye-opening thing for me. They, to, I met people in QAnon that I knew in other areas, so like I saw them. Really? But what is it with you? What Are, are you in the Proud Boys? I, I helped start it. <laughs> I'm very gullible, but I feel like that's not true. You know, no, that's, that's true. All, Absolutely all true. I wish it wasn't true. Wait, what? <laughs> You probably already told you probably told the story a bunch, so should I Google it? No. Um, you, I, I'll, I'll say go. I'll give you a quick de- condensed version. Okay. You know, I was we doing the podcast. I got a call from Gavin McGinnis. I was doing his podcast. Um, I went on there and I said to me, I said basically, I said that I had stopped watching porn and jerking off because I I feel like it desensitizes you to real sexual content. Uh, uh, fucking and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And he and and he goes and I go, he goes, you don't drink. I go, no, and no, I don't watch more. And he goes, he goes, let's go for a month. And I go, let's go for a year. And he goes, and no, no, forward, let's go for a month. <laughs> and so 
he said we, he started we we did that for a month. He called it no wanks, no, the no wank challenge. Right. And then when he started, the, I, I was on his show 16 times as the proud boy, the concept like he was. It was a joke. Kind of called them proud and boys. They started calling them that was the proud name boys. And then reason. I would come back and they had the, the song proud of your boy. Then it was no wanks. Then he had degrees. And every time I would come back on. It, w- it was evolving, but they never spoke to me anything about racially or anything right, was, that because it was like a positive, like we're going to were you, but you could still have sex. Did this improve your sex life? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Emma, Emma, okay. By the way, uh, sorry, I think your mic is not on. I think it, I'm oh. just getting the computer mic just so you know. Oh, I'd yeah, hate for you, you are. To, I'm sorry. I'd hate for you to hold that mic the entire time only to find <laughs> out. <laughs> that would be funny as shit. How's that? Not, is not that plug- any better? Uh, I know I'm still here on the laptop. Sorry about yeah. that. I didn't mean to no, stop no, it, but not at all. Dante, you could keep uh, explaining. Mm-hmm. So, so what happened? It evolved. It evolved. It kept evolving, and then next thing I knew, it was the Proud Boys was this kind of fraternal group. I did, I did meetups with them. Um, then they did the they did the breakfast cereal thing where you you have to get punched by a bunch of guys while you're saying five breakfast cereals. It's like they it were was like, how like, can we make sure this doesn't get too cool? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's- it was just and then it just evolved it, and it kind of became a place where these dudes who were, you know, this white grievance was taking place and it, it found itself in this group. And then there was chapters and then I somebody signed me up for the, they used to call me the pope. I was they called me the pope of the power, the spiritual leader. Why do you think white, <laughs> white guys got attracted? Also, I'll record a, a separate audio too because I don't know why this is. That's all good. Don't worry about but, it. It's, it's, we're still hearing. Now you. I won't hold it. There um, you go. Why do you think that white people were so attracted to it? Like, what do you think that was? Because there's a there's a there's a in the world in general. I think. I mean, if you think about this, people get fall into groups because of their figure, their their, their mediocrity. Mm-hmm. They, they feel it and they want to be connected to something. And yeah. then when you're talking about you really have never dealt with the with racism and homophobia, Islam, anti-Semitic, we've never really dealt with those things in a real way. So when you look at the Capitol and you see there's a, a, a real real estate lady who who goes down in a private plane and there's a dude who works in Walmart and there's a dude with horns that sleeps in his mom's basement and there's cops and stuff. So when you, when you see how culturally and diverse all of the people that, that these racist motherfuckers, it it was went across all ethnic sexual boundary boundaries. And, and so it's at the core, it's rooted in, in what America was built on. And it found a place for people who feel as though they're, um, they can't say whatever the fuck they want to say no more. Right. You can't say faggot and nigger and sp- you can't. And so when it, this is interesting because a lot of white comics are constantly talking about the PC correctness. And I, and I always say, well, what is it you want to say? Mm, like, right. what is it you, right. what, what yeah. do you need what to you, say? Yeah. What are you holding back? What, is, what do you think when then you self-correct and don't say, like, I can't say it. I can't say anything. It's like, what was that? What was, what's what's, in, what the was that thing? what's right. in the notebook that you crossed out that we'll never see? <laughs> right. In your right. That's what I would and love so, to see. And, then, and so it's a, it's a, it's really an interesting thing with this this kind of white grievance that happens because you don't have the control to just shit on people and do whatever you want. And I get that, you know, especially as a comic, when we talk about PC correctness, we want to be able to discuss things and and it's hyper sensitive. But there's a reason why the the pendulum swings, over swings. It's because it was it the the, the kinetic energy energy comes from the other end, and where you could you could take somebody from the LGBT community and and they would be found dead in wet leaves, face down in mm-hmm. wet leaves, or your lynch. <laughs> and so the swing back, of course, it's going some some innocent people, or maybe it's harsher than. You know, then the the then the 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 offense, mm-hmm. but the 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 but the racism and the disparity was never meant. It was never fair, and it was never like the the, the way you want this scalpel like justice. 
right. and, or laser like justice is not is not how you distributed the, the 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 oppression in the first place. You were very broad, wide stroke, and so you know we all get hit whether we deserve to or not, and not that we deserve to. But when it swings the other way, it swings all the other way, and then it it'll find a middle at some point in time. But there afraid that they will be treated the way they treat people. White males are afraid of being treated the way you treated other people. Right. It's also, I didn't realize the, like the racism in the, I didn't know much about, because the Proud Boys and QAnon are connected, right? Um, it's all kind of, it's all, it's all a, a, an idea. Well, I just, I, if you got a, if you get a chance, watch the, 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 did you see the thing on QAnon on Vice? No, but I want to because. Oh my God. God, I want to see all I want to see how vice plays it, because so there was this person and I don't want to give his identity away, but it's this guy who he was. I really like the guy. Really nice. Mm-hmm. Right. Very polite, with, you know, but in yeah. a sincere way, like. Yeah, and yeah. then every now and then he would say stuff where I'd be like, interesting. Like he'd be mm-hmm. like, he would be like, oh, they never tell you the good stuff Trump does. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm down to talk about the media's that like. Conspiracy. Oh, little theory. by little, he would like release who he is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. He's like slowly trickling out by accident. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm open to hearing. Come on, you let a dude, you let a dude foreplay you. <laughs> he, he, race, he racial foreplayed you. <laughs> and it was like, and he would say stuff about, you know, and I'm down to hear if it's like, oh, the child molesters and doing all this. Like, I'm down to hear about all of it. But then in the uh-huh. next. The, the he said something about he was like it was about Brianna Taylor and he was like well that's what happens if you date a drug dealer and I was like oh you're racist I knew it I knew it I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. but it was like it took a while for it to build to that it was someone I was dating's brother too so I couldn't really get at him too hard but it was really right, right. I was like I could it was hard for me to compute that this was also but it made me not listen to him about other stuff when he started saying that stuff but it was very how long ago was this how long ago was this pretty recent okay so <laughs> was this so what was the explanation of the the the, the capital thing oh what my was god there's no oh explanation <laughs> oh there's one oh, wait there just wait <laughs> i'll tell you exactly <laughs> it, it wasn't about it wasn't about um it was about uh uh, freedom of speech and they thought the election mm. was stolen so they had it's not whether you're for or against Trump it's about whether or not do you care about American democracy and it being stolen and I try to have empathy because I'd be like okay if you really believe that I see why you guys are upset but also what are you talking about like they were buying I remember I was with them they bought bullets and I said who are you guys going to shoot and they were like you know whoever and I was like ah shit and then they were yeah. like you know they were like because I was like but how are you going to know if some if some war breaks out it's not like we're all going to be wearing name tags. How are you going to know who's good and who's bad when people don't even know this is happening? And they were like, well, it was it didn't make a lot of sense. It but doesn't I, have to make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. And they're scared. And then also when they take away, like I knew shit was going to go down when they deactivated Trump's Twitter. I was like, oh, shit. I feel like yeah, that's yeah, how this yeah. shit works, though. I think the fact that it doesn't make sense is what lends itself for them to be like, this is what I'm going to sign on to. Because if it was something that you can actually trace and have a logical right. explanation and have, you know, receipts and backup, you know, it just it demystifies everything. It changes everything. You have to learn. Well, this now. is this is also it's this is all definitely related to their grievance about not being able to get women, not being able to have control over over relationship situations that they would normally be the, over. Why the Proud Boys formed in a weird way. It was they, yeah. these are guys who were messed up and didn't have the skill set, at least initially, those guys to get women to get laid. Shouldn't they be watching shit tons of porn then if they can't get women? Well, the the point was the point was if you do. Yes. Yes, I would say that now in retrospect, yeah. you know, yeah. because now if they were jerking, if they Dante's, were jerking off, they wouldn't have been angry. Do you know what I mean? Capital. Now that Dante <laughs> has uh, inadvertently <clears throat> caused the capital riot, Dante right. says maybe there's experiment. You can't have your dick work. in your hand and the American flag. You there's yeah, only you space can't. for so much. You know? if, if you're jerking off into a sock, chances are you're going to take a nap afterwards, and and then who's <laughs> going to insurgents? Why I'm sleepy. So yes, but the thought. What was actually it, it really my thinking was logically sound because it it really and it got them up and going. <laughs> my, the problem was that I so 
So the, the show we is essentially we need yeah. liberals to stop yeah. beating off. Right. <laughs> Change the world. <laughs> well, yeah, that probably would happen. They would be busting somebody's ass. They'd be fucking up people in front of abortion clinics. So <laughs> but they, if we just stop jerking off. But the, the point was, it was this whole kind of disenfranchisement. I'm I'm afraid I deserve to have women and this. And so the whole the whole the show, you know, my show has always been about this kind of masculinity but not not, not necessarily in in an, so the, the 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 principles of the show is ace which is authenticity credibility mm. and empathy right mm. and so and i was talking that stuff to those guys but they left out the empathy part of it mm. so the, the empathy thing part and the credibility part <laughs> well yeah the well, whole well, sentence well, out dante but they the heard don't beat your dick and ran. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's all yeah. that happened. It was like, don't do what? All right, I'm out. And that's the whole and, shit. And, and, go ahead. I I'm see saying, what you're saying because it's like if don't beat, don't jerk off, and then channel it into these things that are positive. They're missing, right, right. Miss the mark of what they're supposed to be channeling it into. So here's here's the thing. What I, this is what I, I don't know if 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 Emma knows this, but I love Emma because Emma got game like ah. a motherfucker. Emma got gay. Stop. I've been reading about love addiction recently because I realized I used to spend so much time trying to win over people, win over women and not thinking about, do I like this person or like, because it's one, it's one thing to get someone to like you, but to get someone to actually know you. So, so much of my game was contingent on me just doing whatever I needed to do to like close that deal. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I appreciate that, but I'm trying to rethink the game so it is more authentic. So it's not just me trying to get some. Oh, this is this is like, gonna be the this is gonna be you know the greatest I mean? show ever. This I'm might be the greatest out, show ever. I'm trying to figure out like what do I have to get to know? I have to unlearn stuff so I can get to know someone where I have to see. This is gonna sound crazy. It's such a big thing for me. I was like, am I interested in them? And I have to feel like I'm enough to then be with someone and know what I'm interested in, not just me trying to win someone over, which has been a problem. Right. Yeah. Right, but you you're but trying, you. but so here's the thing. Thank I mean, you, you always said swag, but the I'm but the bad point at is compliments. Thank you. I should right, right. have <laughs> <laughs> No, but but the reality is, I mean, that's even an interesting aspect of it because what what I what I would t- teach dudes all the time is that real game is no game at all. It yeah, comes from this right. honest place, and it I mean, you, you if it and if to. it does. It's authentic and you can't you can't I mean you for lack of a better term, you can't beat them off with a stick when you are authentic and credible. You you tell the truth. Women kind of like that, but that's a whole other thing. What beating off with a stick? Yeah, beating <laughs> off. Oh, especially in New York, everyone wants to yeah. get like beaten within a centimeter of their life. I feel like anyone that lives in the East Village, any girl in the East Village between 18 and 35 wants to shit kicked out of them. But really? you kind of <laughs> that's what I find. The, or Park Slope or East Village. But um, I think that it also, if you're not authentic, being authentic makes people like you more, but also you have to do it for yourself too, because otherwise you'll set yourself up for something you can't maintain, which I've done. I've been not authentic and I faked authenticity to get something, but then I can't keep it up. And then I- So what was an example of that, Emma? Like what was the situation? Is it through stand-up? Because I mean, you're a successful stand-up comedian. No, I never meet women doing, I met one woman through stand-up. It would always be through- it would be through online dating. It would be always online dating or through like referrals. Like I would like, it would in later years would be online dating, but it would, I would always mm-hmm. be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Not so, well, you, so you'd meet a girl and then it would be what? You'd present yourself as one thing and you just weren't able to maintain it, you're saying? I would be like, I would do, I would create the world that, that I would make kind of mirror back to them what it seemed like they wanted. Like someone did this to me once. I was, I dated a stripper and I remember she told me that she was like going to grad school. And I know it sounds really dumb. I know that's what they all say, but I really mm-hmm. believed everything she said. I still think she was going to grad school. I really, I don't know. Okay. But like my roommate was like, Emma, this fucking girl is not in grad school. She's just telling you what you would need to hear to get interested in someone. So I wouldn't like lie to people, but I would make it. Well, I would lie sometimes. Yeah, I would say I, had, <laughs> I, would, I, would lie. I don't know why I just lied to you guys. I would lie. Like I would say I would say I had been sober for longer than I had or I just lie about, 
Certainly. Yeah. I would lie about stuff to them, make it seem like I was in a better place to be in a relationship or the types of things I like to do, or I would not make it seem like certain things bothered me or say I want to have kids sometimes. I would like stuff. Well, like you know, it's, 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 I, I, I say sometimes. this on the show all the time. I said, if you got a guy and he's five foot four and he talks to tells everybody he's five foot six, he lies because he doesn't think that five foot four is good enough. Totally. And, and the fact mm-hmm. that he thinks the whole vein of his existence is in the two inches that he's lying about. That yes. somehow that that gets him over the right. mark that makes him validated. And yes. so you lie because you feel this inadequacy and mm-hmm. the, and 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 that inadequacy, it permeates everything you do, the walk, the talk. So when you're lying and you and but I mean, when you like when I talk about you always having game, it's you're confident in the fact that you can convince somebody, but the yeah. real thing is what if they really get to know me? I don't think I'm good enough anyway. Right. So I got to, and I can't, I can't be this other person forever. Like right. eventually it's going to crack, you know? Yeah. Or it'll be like, I'll be like doing too much stuff for them. And they'll be like, Oh, I'm in love. Like I'm in love. I'm like, I love me too. I fucking pay for everything. You know, like, right, it's right. like, <laughs> it's, you, you want to have it be a little bit more even, but I, but I then at, you know, I like very, I have you seen, you've seen me with girlfriends before. Yeah. 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 I like very I know like your high, style. high feminine fucking yeah. women. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Complicated. Uh, high, high, yeah, high maintenance. High maintenance. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah. High maintenance. Yeah. yeah. High yeah. maintenance. Yeah. So beyond, I, I guess, for lack of better term, lipstick lesbian, but beyond that, like high maintenance. Yeah. High maintenance. High femme. I would say. A problem. A, a fucking problem. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that's unavailable and and a black hole. My hungry horse never fills. <laughs> I like actual, I like bisexuals more than a lesbian. I feel a little sexually restricted with lesbians. Why is that? Because I like to, I like to role play that I'm a guy for sex. So if I'm with a lesbian, then they don't like it. But like what I like to do, like sexually, like is more like applicable to a bisexual. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, I don't know, man. Something that, some, something that came into my mind, um, you know, even that, even in the dark recepts of your mind, it's almost <laughs> like this kind of. You feel what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm gonna say? It's kind of like there's this this inadequacy that you're f- mm. filling up when, and 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 here's the thing, Emma. If you you don't believe me, man, check out Emma's stand up. She's funny as shit. Very um, funny. She's really super talented and. You know, I watched Emma grow from a little a little baby comic. You know, mm-hmm. and. And, and 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 just to kind of so what's interesting is that comics is talented and they're interesting and they're generous and they're, you know, these all of these things that we we want, we value and we want, but we don't think it's it's valuable at all when we're giving it to somebody, mm. which is it, it's take it, take it, take it. Right. But you don't think that has no any value. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm, bit, I'm definitely, I've been, I started going to a therapist and I've been starting trying to like re, re-figure it out and figure out, okay, this does have value. So what do I want? And how will that change my like approach towards dating? And I think I also need to feel guilty about my schedule. So I'm like, I'm out all the time. No one's going to want to put up with that, but fuck that. Like now I know people, it's like their husband's a cook or they work five jobs or like you make it work. Yeah. Like, it's not like, it was almost like narcissistic of me to think, oh, I'm so unique. My schedule is so crazy. It's fine. I'll make it. People make it work. And and there's always other people who maybe don't want to see you all the time. Too, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's well, somebody who's equally as busy or like right. a little bit less so that it can work. Because if y'all maybe both not even equally busy, as busy. Maybe she just they like being by themselves. They like their own person. Like you can't you can't put in their head what their value is, what they're looking for. You got to yeah. ask them. You gotta ask, is it is this okay? Like, you know, I gotta you, ask you, you a question, you, Dante. Why why are your yeah. finger bleeding? Oh man, because I, I um I was reaching in the uh I uh lost my headphones in the truck and I um oh, Jesus. I so badly wanted to say that you dropped a cookie between the seats and I was fucking going for it. <laughs> and I and I went in to get it and it um and there was damn, a knife son. there. Yeah, oh, damn. Fuck. 
and I split my finger right, and it just okay. bang, had, and it just. You had the finger it's. condom on before, but it fell off. Yeah, and I just I, saw this bloody it's, finger it's, waving in the air. He's like, Emma, you're awesome. I'm just <laughs> bleeding everywhere. <laughs> what happened was, Harry, I don't know, but my I got big ass fingers. I couldn't find no magnum. Uh, no magnum finger condoms. Condom. Son. Dante got yeah, a pair I need of Nike the XL wrapped around his thumb right now. You all got any? You, you guys <laughs> got any magnum finger, or at least rib for her pleasure? Like just yeah. something. <laughs> Wrap a Hanes t-shirt around your shit. <laughs> yeah, just something. Rambo that shit. I'm not. I'm not did y'all both it, see that? Did all yeah, y'all see I that? Noticed that? that yeah, I know. You that had that a do rag on your middle finger, nigga. I saw it. Yeah, yeah it did. Have yeah, it, it was cutting my circulation <laughs> off. I took the finger condom off. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, um, Emma, so, Emma, how do you discover this aspect of like not your sexuality, but your preferences? Like when you talk about wanting to have sex with bisexuals, sort of like, how does that come about for you? I'll tell you. OK, so, well, not to undermine the porn stuff, but it was through watching porn as a kid. I started seeing like I would like be like, oh, I like I'd always watch straight porn and then I would self-actualize with the guy. And porn also okay. would be like my time. I get to control it. I get to watch whatever I want to watch. So I've always watched porn. Actually, wait, I had a line to try to suss out to see if the girl was like, okay. like pinky. Okay, okay. I, want to see what, I want to see what you guys think of this because I feel like, all right. So when I would first start talking to someone, I'd have this, I'd be like, ah, I'm trying to quit watching porn. Mm. And then if the girl was like, oh, you watch porn? Weird. Then I'd be like, all right, she sucks. But yep. then I could, <laughs> I, could, I could back out of it and be like, yeah, but that's why I'm trying to quit. But then if she was like, oh, uh, like, I watch tons of porn. Like, what are you trying to quit? Then I'd be like, well, I've just been watching a lot of. And then we got the conversation going about she watches porn. And then if she's like, I like, you know, daddy, daughter or whatever, then I know how to gear the conversation. I'd be like, oh, you're a good little girl or whatever the fuck. But like, <laughs> That was my line because I could back Emma's out. a piece of shit. Yeah. Emma's a piece of garbage. Wait, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to suss out what's going on. I'm trying to see what's up. Is that bad? Emma is I think it's great. Emma is I think it's phenomenal. Okay, Emma, check this out. In that college, I would go. Well, Emma, check this out. I used to do this. This is a, a same kind of thing. When I was young, I would go. I go. Oh my God, you just you just feel like it. Just feels like you're such a free spirit. Like just mm. like you just got, and she would go and who who goes no I'm an old prude who doesn't <laughs> you know everybody right. goes yeah you know I get you go really that's it even if she's not she goes really you think so and I go yeah it just feels like you're just so free form you know what you want and you you're not worried you're about confident. it and then and, and then she yes. and then when I go for the finger pop and she go wait what whoa whoa I go oh, I thought you, you were. <laughs> I don't right. Smart. It's the spirit is in the wind, baby. Right. Smart. It's the setup. It's the setup. <laughs> <laughs> set up exactly and then you get to all you gotta do you, you set them up you you pour the concrete you wait till the concrete hardens then she she's locked in because nobody right. wants to be a hypocrite nobody wants right. to be a lot thought you was a free spirit right. stop that's good that's it's also <laughs> so, i found it, a lot of women don't watch porn though like it was very rare that a girl would be like oh i like this porn and i like that porn uh, then now experience. Now, is it that they didn't admit to it or they just didn't watch it? I would really try to set it up where, I, like, I'd be like, they would, I mean, maybe they weren't admitting to it, but I would really try to be like, yeah, I watched porn ever since I was a kid. And I'd like try to, like, give hints to, like, be like, this is what I would be into. But so maybe some of them were just being shy. But I mean, I remember my last girlfriend, she's like, you like porn. I never watch it. Send me something you're watching. And I was like, no, 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 no. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I've been watching porn for like I'm 35. I've been watching. I'm a porn professional now. porn watcher. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, you gotta say where I am at. <laughs> it's gone too I've far. I've been there. Emma yeah. got shit that you gotta type extra keys into. I've been nigga. There. You can't even yeah. find it. <laughs> I've been there uh, just scrolling, going, no, no, that's not. That's just gonna shut it down. Uh, exactly. No, See, that's what's painful. Exactly. Yeah. And I didn't want to. And she was a lesbian, so I was like, I only watch straight porn. And I was like, I didn't know how like. I didn't want to overcorrect and send her something like two PG and she'd be like, bullshit. So I think I sent her, <laughs> I sent her some stepson mom porn and the mom was like on a bouncy ball talking to the dad and the stepson was fucking her. Oh, uh, okay. That's a good one. That good and one. She, good and one. what was her response to that? She said, she said she liked it, but I, but <laughs> yeah, I you know. like it was too much. I didn't know what to uh, send. Yeah. 
But you know, you know what I think it is too. It's I think it's the fact that you are not really come like if you just kind of go with it, just throw the pitch. Like stop, just throw the pitch. Because here's the thing: if you throw the pitch, especially now when you're trying to. You 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 you're not just trying to fool them. You're trying to get somebody that you like. Exactly. So now it's important for me for the person to also be like into the sexes and everything. But when right. it doesn't click, it becomes a big part it of sucks. the relationship. It's a huge problem. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah. But that's anything. I mean, if this intimacy is is in everything, but without it, it becomes the biggest part. And and mm-hmm. and intellect. If you got somebody who's a fucking idiot, like mm-hmm. you know, or she's like, wow, and you're like, Rich, that's yeah, that's, that's true. Oatmeal. So, <laughs> quick <laughs> question. Here. Oatmeal. That is so true. Quick question to settle so, this debate because wow. I've 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 heard it both ways here. <laughs> as far as because uh, a lot of it's influenced by porn. Scissoring is that a myth versus tribbing? Because I've been what informed. What's tripping? You don't know what tripping is. Oh, oh my, my god! Yo, Harry's a Harry's a bigger lesbian than Wait. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> tripping is going. See, I got to do a visual here. You got to go on. Of top. course. Oh, oh, oh on yeah, top yeah, yeah. is called tripping. But what do you mean scissoring? on top? What do you mean? Meaning oh yeah, 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 You're, you're yeah, bumping yeah, clits. Oh, you're I bump- didn't know that. That's what it's called. Yeah, tripping for sure is like very common scissoring i th- i'm sure people do it but i don't know look okay so for tripping the pictures i'm looking at the girl is kind of riding the other girl that's yeah. not how I do it. she's doing research <laughs> that's not how I, usually you just or i mean yeah you get in between the legs and like rub like that yes that's very popular scissoring i don't i don't know i i, I mean I always thought those were the same i didn't know no. It's only so, different in terms of the way know. that people the are positioning. Lying. But my but understanding I've never is heard this term. Scissoring I mean, is like a, a thing that fake lesbians do in porn. That's not like a real thing. I don't know. I'm trying to this 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 is this that's like just docking. Docking. That's like docking. docking. What's that? Nobody docking is that's when that? two dudes, two dudes who are uncircumcised stick their penis in each other's foreskin. Isn't that more difficult because there's not a lot of circumcisions or, or there's too many circumcisions? Well, that's what makes it special, Andre, you know? <laughs> the rarity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, Mickey it's like a holographic card. Pokemon card. Right. Like, oh, exactly. I've never seen this before. <laughs> you got some 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 Spanish dude with a turtleneck still. You could you could dock in his... Oh. Uh, so you yeah, would touch so, their heads together, So is right? this and the then, moment yeah. after you discovered this, Dante, like a, when like the Proud a, Boys like a, started. Like a, it's like this a, is what kicked you off to right, be like, I got to turn this shit off. Yeah, right. I'm wilding. <laughs> this is it's what like Dante, got Dante started. <laughs> you know, if Dante docking, had made Docking dock. is like the Chinese Chinese <laughs> finger cuffs. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the finger trap joints. <laughs> Does that feel good, though? Like, could the, they couldn't come from that, could they? No, I'm not I, really I a doctor. It's, a it's not my thing, Em, but... Fair. Yeah, I assume it's just more of a trick that you can do more than it is a trick. like a... It's a stunt. Like exhibition yeah, I don't think, style. Like, I don't understand like a coach talking friction. about a black quarterback. <laughs> He's just running across the field doing whatever he wants. That's not That's not football. <laughs> I, I would say... It's like a well, black quarterback. <laughs> like a black quarterback running out of the running pocket. Running around the field, running out the pocket. That is Kenny, not football. Kenny Josephs and I would always call him like mobile quarterbacks is the code word for racism. Like we don't want any uh mobile <laughs> quarterbacks around here. We want people who stay in the pocket, if you know what I'm saying. Stay in the uh, pocket as as God intended it. Um yeah I, <laughs> I don't know it's a it's an interesting thing because like when we started the podcast it was very ma- male orientated and then you know we you know we we encompassed everybody and so we've had you know I and I the thing that really freaked me out was um Pat Brown was on mm. and Pat Brown was telling me a story about this girl that she liked and blah 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 and she goes and I go it just hits me yo friend you zoned. just been friend you're friend zoned mm. you got friend and I and to me just so so let me let me get it back I grew up I'm, I was born um 66 right so I so there's no way you grew up in the 80s and 90s and didn't have homophobic ideas of it was course. in in the and just growing up in of the eight in general so i used so to say you, homophobic you, stuff in high school i used to be i i was like i so i just to relate with you just i, I totally said i used to always be like oh there's these two gay kids and i was like ew why do they have to be hold hands like it's gross they're putting it in our face right, right. so i get it i get it 
so so but in order to be in order not to be homophobic you have to be anti-homophobic you have to right. make an effort to to question the the concepts and what you what you're okay with and, and why why is it okay and it, and it's always when you turn it around you and, and it it you're looking for the same response. And if you're not getting the same responses, you always know, yeah, something is wrong here. It doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of had to learn that because of the programming and stuff to, to understand what, what, well, if this was a heterosexual couple, I would, would I, would I feel the same way, you know? And, and, and that's, that's when it starts. That's a testament to your character too, because if it's not something that affects you directly, but you still want mm. to take the time to do that, that's like a character thing. And I try to right, do that right. with, with race. Cause I'll be like, Okay, I'm constantly being whiteness, 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 like bad, bad, bad. So I have to like kind of like rewire it, but I can't really be trusted to rewire it because the whiteness is right. like in me. It's a fucking right, right. And it's 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 so it's so often it's it's funny because we me, me and Harry, I want to go over this again. Me, we saw the, the Patrice O'Neill documentary. Yeah. And you know how everybody used to say Patrice O'Neill was such he was so self-sabotaging and and he was shooting himself in the, but I'm like he just didn't want to do what the fuck you wanted him to do. Mm. Like, so the industry was like, here you are, black dude. Here's opportunities. And you better be happy that we give you these opportunities. And you better do it the way that you want to, the way we tell you to do it. Otherwise, you're ungrateful. And then I was, me and Harry was talking about this. And I said, I don't know if, I said, if I ask you who, what comic would we th say, mm. what white comic, white male comic uh -huh. would we say, is 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 hard to work with and then i would and say dante, this nigga why said are, norm mcdonald hold on i would say dante why <laughs> really? are you coming to me i'm not white please stop coming to me with these things i would like to stress and then to proceeded you to give a white, white ass answer norm mcdonald i did name norm mcdonald and mark Marin and chevy chase and, yeah and i mean and then norm mcdonald is 70. Do you know what I mean? And <laughs> right, even right. even though even though they were that it, it didn't stop their work like their right. job so it's like, then you go, was he really that? Nah. And and then you talk about what he has been going through through the whole thing. Like my my biggest problem with I, I don't know if you saw the doc, but I didn't I want to though. But the 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 doc literally it looks like Patrice don't have no black friends. Mm. <laughs> Which is absolutely not that was my man. When what we used to go to yeah. and then when we used to when we used to go to his barbecue, well, yeah. Will was in there short. Harris was in there short. I had a line. Keith had a couple of lines, but it was like, and don't get me wrong. I mean, Billy and all the table people from the cellar, they were, they were all tight. You know how like the people you start doing comedy with. Sure. Yeah. And then, so I don't know how many years you got in now. Probably like about nine or 10, 10. So 11. you got nine, but a lot of the people that you started with, you don't fuck with no more. Right. It just so they were the people that he fucked with and they and, you know, they had that camaraderie because they were in the same class. But it, it, they all everybody kind of all those guys kind of moved in different directions and had their own friends. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at it, he didn't have no black, there was no black people in the, in the, in the thing. Mm. Wait, that's weird. And then it, and then you go and then you go, well, everybody's he was he was so hard to work with. And I'm like, dog, he just what if I don't want to do what you want me to do? Right. Right. Now I'm hard to work with. Why? Because I'm right. a black. I'm a big black. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just it's just it's not. And when you say Yo, what what white comic is is uh, is hard to work with, you can't even think of it. Right. Like, it's not even something that's said. Right. You know, but yeah, they'll like tailor it to make it. So, yeah, they're, they're, they'll give them other options to then be like, well, they didn't do this. It is a very it's a little bit like, yeah, dance, dance for us. And you're like, oh, you don't want to do right. our dance. Well, then then we can't take that. So no dance for you. You know, they, they're not good. They, they don't want to do and it. The, and the same thing was true. It's just like this, this openness to LGBT. Then if you if you are a lesbian or you're a part of the community. OK, let's let's pluck these out and we'll. Right. This becomes the, you know what I mean? It just, totally. and it's, it's, it's yeah. because it's a, and it gets in your fucking head because I was, yeah. I was looking around and I was like, all right, now it's not. now I was like, I remember one time, cause it's like, all right, you got to only keep yourself, focus on yourself, do your own thing, you know, eye on the prize, whatever it is. But then I was looking around and I was like, God damn, it's like the lesbian hunger games out here. Like, and then I was looking, 
And I was like, and they were all getting bigger and butcher. And that's part of when I started working out. Bigger and butcher. That Chris Rock special is fire. (laughs) (laughs) Bigger and butcher is a great title for your name. (laughs) That's the album. And so He's I like, we, like, we love lesbians, but we hate what? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, but that too, because I you just like see when that rises up and then that gets commodified. So I try not to let that get in my head too much. But it's yeah. it's it's tricky when you see it around you. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it, I was saying about Pat and I, I recognized the friend zone because I had talked mm-hmm. to guys about the friend zone mm-hmm. and I was like, holy shit. Like right. it was a like I was like, women are doing this to women. Right, this is right. fucked. And I was like, yo, what the? F-? And then we started talking about it in terms of not in terms of masculine and feminine, but started talking about it in terms of dominant and and submissive because it's more dominant. And and it, oh, it's because the elements are always there, even yes. if there is a even if they're both aggressive, one is more aggressive and one is well, more submissive. Point, always, I always say always. that. And I, but I call it male, masculine and feminine. And I get heat for that sometimes, but I'm like, right, right. I've said sometimes, and I know it's problematic, but it's just a, for a fucking talking point. I go, I'm the man in the relationship. I'm the man one. I'm the man one. And I know it. I know that it is problematic, but I'm like, at the end of the day, like if I, like I, there, I saw a couple the other day and I couldn't tell who the man was and who the woman was. And it was, it was driving me nuts. But that's not to right, say right. in a straight re- relationship, one person, no, you know, yeah, someone could be more dominant, more submissive, but there's always some kind of yin and yang. Something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. It's always it's always that it, it's it's always present. And so I started looking at it in terms of that, which is much more universal. Mm-hmm. Um, I always tell the story about we had uh, we had Mia Isabella, which is uh, I don't know. She's a trans porn star but Ooh. she was she she was fucking uh tiger the, the rapper for a while right and it was this whole thing and she was wow. at, right if i'm lying harry she was straight pretty yeah. girl syndrome well, her mentality like, i'll was, just i'll just her her, 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 she was like i'll just get him to fly up my, put me in a helicopter and fly me there and i'm like she just had hot girl nobody mentality. Yeah, like nobody flies people, but you this was her life. You to get her bags because on God, I wasn't going to pick shit up. Not because I have a beef. I'm just not thinking to pick up a person's bag. You know, just an oh, adult. Oh, when she came in the house? When yeah, she came in the house? She, you're an adult. We're, in a, we're all the same adults. The fuck am I picking up your bag for? But th- she would not touch her own purses. That, oh, that, that, luggage that, and shit. That's snobby. It's like she should read the room and be like, yeah, maybe if it's her boyfriend or a guy she's going on a date with, pick the yeah. bag with. Can't expect any man to pick her bag. Why? What? She, that's not fair. She's very. Well, he's, and I was like, and I was like, we're talk going back and forth, and I'm like, I'm kind of like, oh, this goofy bitch. And then the <laughs> the attractions, she started feeling me because I was like, bitch, I don't care, I'll find you. <laughs> like, and and then she was like, oh, so well, also you, were telling you know, her 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 perspective on life was bullshit because again. She is acting like that, you know, oh, I hunt men like mm. you don't. You have the same oh, hunt. you trap, you trap. Mm. Emma hunts. Men, men, <laughs> men hunt women purchase like for the most part. Mm. Emma's different. Emma hunts. Emma's, Emma Emma's hunts. Dominant. Emma. <laughs> right. But I always say I'm the man one in it. Well, she's really right. pretty. So did he yeah. get like did people did he comment on that or was it just like a cool? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a whole big thing. It was a whole ah kind of thing with it this was before you couldn't say ill what do you do you know what i mean like right. a rapper could this was when it was a big thing so it was a big thing but Wait, you, i don't mean does she have a vagina i know it's not cool to ask no she had a huge fucking hog i mean mia doesn't keep it a secret she's on many many uh videos she got with porn just google hog. the porn emma you want to see google the, her her porn well hung and well, so I think of her still as a woman, but like, <laughs> so if I, if you're gonna be with someone like that, like you'd have to just fuck them in the butt and then their ass is their pussy. Mm, yep. That, and, that and you is. asking me like I got the answer? I don't know. Yeah, I just, mean, I was just gonna ask you. The don't, available. Can, can't you? Can't you? Can't you call a friend and ask us? <laughs> yeah, phone a friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I need to. I need my phone call for this. <laughs> oh, you got a phone a friend. <laughs> Well, good for him. Good for Tiger. I mean, that's good for him. <laughs> well, but then, but grimacing. then you, she was like, "God damn!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you, then you recognize it's literally a situation where it's so, 
it's so it's dominant and feminine, dominant and submissive. And then and then the principles start to work on any on any level. You know, this this whole right. thing that if you're well, if you're the person who's at any point, even if it's a couple, if it's straight, lesbian, whatever, or even business partner, at some point, somebody has to uh supersede it and somebody yeah. has to allow somebody yeah. has to give up yeah. on the decision somebody has to make decisions at well, some point and, it and can, a lot of times the woman will make the decisions about a lot of things a lot of times the woman is like we're doing this and we're doing that but then the sexual right, right. decisions she's gonna she i just i'm i'm looking at her <laughs> whatever it is right now so she seems like the dominant one she's like got a dominant energy she doesn't know she's, she's not. super she feminine I think you're Super just thinking feminine. of the size of her cock, Emma, and I, that I does give a dominant energy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That is the definition of big dick energy, unfortunately. Right. Wow. Yeah, it was. It was. The uh, sexuality it, it just, of it is also different than the the nature of the person emotionally too. So sex right. can be completely separate, where somebody can be uh, very dominant or whatever in the bedroom, and then be very submissive as a human being in life. Yes. And so there's different nuances to it as well. Yes, you're right. You know, you know, you know, Shantae. Do you know Shantae Moore? Uh, no. I Wait, no, name. Shantae Wayans. Shantae oh, Wayans. Yeah, Shantae. yeah, yeah, we're buddies. Okay. That, I, I like Shantae a lot. So cool. me and Shantae is real cool. And we were talking and she we, she was talking about she was saying how every time you do a every time she does a um she breaks up with a girlfriend, she has to buy a new strap on. And I thought that is so I she don't wrote this. We, they, they, we wrote this wash? because the, but it's the, a personal the, it's, thing. You're dealing with a look. woman with a feminine woman was like, I don't no, you can't put it in a dishwasher. So she was saying, yeah, oh, yo, it's right. expensive. Like the the strap, the, the shorts, you got it. Yeah. She was like, and, I, and she was like, I got to get all this new shit every time. They, and I told her what take it personally. I, <laughs> but we I mean, got like, this. We don't, you know, just uh, wash yes, it off. Sir. That's the point. That's what we was. I was saying. I don't wash have to it. fucking. I if, can't. I can't just could, screw off my would. dick. I gotta go with what I got. So, but they, but would they make, can. Yes. They, they would, would make, make you. They would <laughs> make you switch it out if you could. That's right. funny. I had like, girls. Could you who, use that with your ex, and then you'd be like, yeah, and then they'd be like. Mm. Yeah. I've had girls who be like, wow. I don't want to use the other sex toys, you know, because I've collected it. I've had a collection. It gets expensive. <laughs> it does. You, know, you don't want to keep swapping them out. And then, you know, no, some you got, girls are like, uh, no, look, the Hitachi Magic One is a hundred and twenty five. A lot of money. A uh, hundred twenty five. The cordless one is one hundred and thirty five. We use the same silverware. On sale. <laughs> we use the same silverware. My bitch ate off that fork. You mad? <laughs> <laughs> the problem. You don't want the, the chicken no more? <laughs> Here's what's crazy. We was, Dante I would told, do some so real said, dirt bag shit, though. Dante so I told Shante, I said, Shante, save the rapping. Yes. Stop throwing away the rapping. I save the, say, save, yes. I said, I said, save the twist tie. I go, save the circle tape. You the know the circle manual, tape that goes over? The warranty the warranty. No, no, you know the, no, the circle tape. You know this, how they seal the edges with the little dot yes. of circle tape? Or lie about it because it's the girl has to. It's got to be a very special situation to bring new energy into where you're actually going to buy new stuff. You can lie, like they're not going to watch you actually unwrap it. Just be like, I got this. This is. I mean, I used to have them, and then I would like write the name of the girl's name on the back of it. Oh, <laughs> shit. But not because I was having so much sex with different people. I just saved them, and then I stopped yeah. buying new ones because I was like, this is too much. I, I, yeah. How many? I how many like, did you have? How many Emma did you have, Emma? Trophy, like a <laughs> collection worth. Hang them. Emma, Emma's, <laughs> Emma's shelf looked like the inside of a smoke shop <laughs> nah, with all the bongs. Like the, uh, <laughs> Just remember MTV. Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> she got rows of bongs. <laughs> Maybe like, because also I would order like different ones to then see which one I felt like comfortable with too. I sure. I probably had like. The most at one time I had like seven or eight at one point, but it's a lot. It really is. It's a lot. It's too much. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, then yeah. you got to upgrade to a bigger uh, duffel bag, and then it becomes a hockey bag. I know. Emma. <laughs> yes, been it's there. a lot. It's a, but the Hitachi Magic one is, I think, the best sex toy hands down for sure. Yeah, it's just you got to watch because it'll desensitize you. Right. Right. Can they use that on you... men? Can they? Do they ever put it on your guy's penis? Nah, it's a, like I've, balls are a balls. Are, go ahead. Oh, never mind. I, shut up. Let's oh. throw weirdo Harry step in. 
he goes, uh, um, uh, uh, excuse me. Um, I, uh, I go, listen. I, I, uh, the Senate, the Senate, for, the Senator from Perth, uh, has the floor. Go ahead. I will say that after, after a session with my girl, she was like, have you ever used that on yourself? I go, I don't know. I haven't tried it. So I, I was like, let me see what this would do. Not good on your balls. You don't want your no. balls <laughs> even at the lower setting. You want your at balls. a speed of a Honda. No, that's yeah, not you don't great. want that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of no nice. It feels kind of nice on your dick, but it's not at all. It doesn't do anything. It's like actually, it's right. actually like a nice massage on the head of your dick. Huh. Well, that's, that's, that's it. what it came from. It was initially a massager. It, it was like, a heavy was like maybe it has like health benefits. You know, maybe like releases tension or health. You know, you gotta have the you gotta have the 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 gun gives you the the. That's don't 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 that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know you're yeah, talking that should have break it. That should have break your fucking collarbone though if you mm-hmm. put it on the bone. But yeah, they, it, it's um. I was like, save the twist ties, the plastic bag, yeah. you, the the circle tape. You got to save <laughs> the circle tape. Keep the box. I, I go fresh. A second level. Save the Amazon box. Save the whole package. <laughs> retape it. Open it from the bottom and then retape it from <laughs> back there. I mean, come but on. But that have to be a real controlling girl to be watching you actually unwrap the stuff. I don't use those on everybody that I, anybody that I'm with too. It's usually like if I'm with someone after a couple times, then we do that. Mm. So maybe if she's using it with everybody she's with, then it is a, you know, she might yeah. date more than I do too because I would just be in relationship, relationship, relationship. Uh, yeah. But that'd be a real yeah, psycho. I've had to make girl. compromises where I go, all right, anything that uh, goes inside anything, I'll, I'll replace. I would say but, Chante yeah. was explaining this to me, and I was like, and why are you not talking I can't about even this? Get this? Like, right. this is the, <laughs> this is so the greatest no reason, yo. Yo, it's a lot of dope. They got right? detergent, lady. Because I'm using, I'm dirty. using my same dick. I'm using the same one I had. You can use right. alcohol, aloe vera, peroxide, detergent. Nah, Lysol, yeah, that'll fuck up the, the silicone. That, nah, that'll fuck yeah. up the silicone. Me, but it's because like, I don't know what washes stuff though. So. <laughs> they think of it as like the energy. They're like, it's got the energy yeah. when you fuck that other girl. So that's the what it energy. is. Energy. This is what happened with bitches and crystals. Stop. Stop. Exactly. That. Stop it. <laughs> right. Astrology and energy. You regular lady. Come on now. And I like it. I'm actually into energy stuff too. Like, but even for me, I, and I, I get what they're saying, but it is a little bit of an unfair liability. Too. I'm saying for that one part, that's something that's just like, it's literally let me wash it off. <laughs> I agree well, with that. Even, I'm, well, it's I'm also another, like, another two hundred dollars. How much do shit cost? No, no two I, that's crazy. A lot. No, I won't do that. Then yeah. there's what's the shorts, like the shorts, so you don't yeah. get the shape, the strap. Like some the, wand is like a is like hundred forty something. Oh, like, the, the magic wand, the Hitachi magic wand. I'm not the wireless that every point. month. No, oh, that I've never had a girl say they wanted a new one of those. That seems to be like you get a pass on that. It's something specifically about the dick. Or you just throw mm-hmm. a condom on it. True. Ooh, I've never right done there. That. What about that? I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't know. You gotta I mean, feel the same. That's plastic on plastic. You can't be like, right? I don't feel the same. Shut up, bitch. Use plastic. That's you, true. You're good. I've never even. I would say it depends. It's not, it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. not realistic. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not logic. It's the feeling. It's. It's. it's right. This is mine. This is. There's a, a feeling of intimacy. Well, that remember she's, when that she's, Patrice, when Patrice talked about how uh, he tried to give his girl a pair of ra- uh, Vaughn. It was Vaughn. Like it was raining outside. He goes, I think this, my ex left a pair of rain boots. Just wear those. And she started like screaming and yelling. Like, how could you keep these boots? He's like, bitch, you got a kid from another dude's balls. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at somebody else's sperm every day. And now and I can't have these boots. These boots. I'm gonna take my these boots, boots for sleep. ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. But it, it's just interesting. The um, you know, the di- like you you start to see it. Just the, the yeah. I you know I've, I've been saying this for a while. I say you know if you have a, you're a human being and you are willing to recognize what your faults are and work mm-hmm. on them, mm-hmm. you are as perfect a human being as you could be. I you, you can't be more that. perfect. I so agree with that because I always try to think of it like progress, not perfection, like all you can do. And I love the idea of like repentance on stuff, not just because it can give me an out, but it's like all you can do is change, control how you're going to react to it and try to be better and try not to be defensive and try not to be angry and we're all going to fuck up. But that's why we got to give people space to when they do fuck up to have some space to adjust. Right, right, right. And not just cut them off at the jump and let them like learn and explain or whatever it is. So I agree with that 100. percent 
Look, we're gonna do the rest. How what how how much longer you got, Em? Uh, till seven forty-five. Okay, Emma will join us for okay, some we- Patreon, and if she has to go, we'll uh, we'll continue with answering some listener mail from directly sure. from people on Patreon. So. Uh, join us over there, patreon.com slash manschool202 for some behind-the-scenes footage, for uh, for listener mail. So it's all over there. It's all happening. It's a way to get in contact with us. And plug your stuff real quick so my fans can, my listeners can listen. On Instagram. That's where I, I always like DM back on Instagram. And then the only show I've got in the books now is uh, March 20th in Honolulu. So we'll see if that oh, sure. still happens. But if you're in Honolulu, it's at the Blue Note. And it's gonna be should be a good time. But I'm, Instagram is my main social media platform of choice. So hit me up there. I'll hit you right back. Dope, dope. All right, uh, Harry, real quick. Let's make them quick. Uh, you can go to my website uh, or all my info <laughs> at Jake, Harry I'm not white. <laughs> And uh, I am not white. I like to point that out. Just to remind everybody, uh, at Harry Trajanian, all my stuff, at Harry Trajanian, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. And follow Man School 202 on TikTok. And also follow us on uh, the YouTube page. That's where we have all the clips and stuff. Uh, YouTube, Man School 202. Dre, quick. Oh, shit. What up, y'all? Um, Andre D. Thompson, Slouch Theory, and AndreDThompson.com. <laughs> That's it, man. Y'all know what to do. Uh, all my stuff, you go DanteNero.com. If you want a one-on-one consultation, you know how to get me. Everything else, Dante Nero, Instagram, YouTube, all that good shit. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all, man. We are out. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero. Hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.